Yo ho, what's up guys, it is Toy here and this will be a video on how to actually scale your Kung Fu Master. Now, first off, I'm going through uh, all of the skills, what is good, what is not, what can be used, what cannot be used. So, we'll first start off with, I'll go from uh, the highest levels to the lower levels. Now, I have my skill set and you can change them up every single time so you can try out whatever you want. That, that's one of the greatest things about this game. Um, what I like for the first skill is definitely the left side. Uh, this allows you to get a bleed that's on this one. Like the first one gives extra damage. Second one allows you to get a bleed on a 5 stacks and this is actually used on certain bosses that have HP regen. The moment they get that bleeding stack they will not regen anymore. So it's very very useful for like um, Temple of Fire for instance. Now the third one is actually pretty good uh, because on a crit hit you will regain 2 chi instead of 1. So that's pretty good. Um, this skill, I don't think it's very useful because it is really slow. It changes the skill so I can show you guys. Instead of the normal auto attacks, it gives you an AoE auto attack. It does not grant you any chi and comboing it is not really that great. Uh, so honestly, I don't like it all that much. Now, for the blocking skill, there are a few things that you can do. Now, blocking on the first part, it will give you... Uh, let's see, it gives you 3 chi instead of one chi on a block and if you take the left side you will actually regen HP now taking it to uh, the normal skill like this is the normal block which is pretty good as a one second of frame and a one second cooldown after so you can basically get it up like most of the time now this is my personal favorite uh, it changes the block skill into an attack now, whenever you get attacked within a frame, uh, you will just hit them once and hit them back after. Uh, biggest probability is you will get extra crit and extra crit damage with this. As well as, uh, you can just spam this basically. It is so much better than the other block. Although it costs 1 chi on uh, casting and it will regain two, uh, 3 chi after. So all in all it's a it's a very very good skill uh... the third one is a on hit stun now this changes the cooldown to six seconds so you can only use it for six seconds but if you connect something uh... you can actually uh... counter attack something it, it it works against projectiles it works against normal attacks and you will actually stun your opponent so it's a very good one and the last one is for threat increase so if you really want to be the tank of the team that's where you need to go now next up is the bread and butter skill I'm going to pick off like a few skill points because I'm going to need them now the only two things that you really need to know are the total right build and the total left build now I will tell you why the total le right build is actually to make your second skill AOE uh, also, if you hit somebody, you will actually regen HP. This is very good for survivability. It is just such a good thing to use. Uh, as for the left side, this has a very neat feature. Uh, I need to get a few more skill points. There we go. Now, what this basically does, this is for single target damage, uh, aka for a boss in this case. Now, if you crit your second button, uh, normally your chitin kick will... Uh, I will show you guys. Let's see. Let's find a monster. Now, there we go. We got one. Get the destroyer up in the building. So whenever I crit my two, it will show up Kitan Kick. Now, on the usual build, of course my crit rate is so low. Um, on another build, the Kitan Kick will go out the moment you press another skill. Now. The great feature about this uh, total left side build, it will allow you to do two kicks instead of one and it allows you to press other skills before you actually execute a chitin kick. So here we got one asshole, now we got the down knock for no reason. Of course my crit rate is so ridiculously low and these guys died too fast. But 
in either case, uh, it allows you to uh, still be able to do the chitin after anything else. Oops. Now, for some of the next skills, I'm um, not entirely sure which is which, but I'm going to call it out anyway. So this is the ground slam. Uh, it's an AoE damage thing. Now, if you spec it either way, uh, one gives back HP. The other one actually knocks a grounded opponent up in the air. Now, this is good for PvP. I'm not entirely sure which is which, though. I think this is the HP region. Most of the times the right side is HP region, the left side is like some kind of utility. So just keep it in mind, try it out. As for the grapple, I don't know shit about this one. I like, I like this skill, though. Um, this one will be updated into the newer patches uh, so that you can use it as an X button but it allows you to do multiple hits and actually kill a person within like a few strikes but the cooldown is like very very high and it gives you some sort of a buff damage buff I assume so I really like that skill as for the other grapples they are not very good in this uh, particular update just yet so I wouldn't even like think about getting any of them oh, I'm getting bashed on what the fuck you bitch Let's see if I still got the kite and kicks probably not alright so moving on to the next skill uh, this one is actually really really great um, so this is the ground sweep and uh, once you put it on the total left side for the second button you will receive a two uh, instead of a two second knockdown it will get you a three second knockdown so the two points is definitely worth it and the other one I think it is a mobility uh, decreaser so that's really good if you're up against like a sorcerer for in or like a force master in this case now on the other side you have the uh, I would call it the low kick in this case this will change your skill up to a low kick and uh, what this basically does is it costs uh, Tucci and it allows you to combo certain stuff and cancel it so in a higher damage fashion like if you have 100% crit you can actually press 1 then 2 then F then 3 then 1 again like that is probably the fastest combo into the game and probably one of the biggest damage skills so that will be later on into the game once you get like very very max level alright so another bread and butter skill and this is used in any case like I'm always using this is the sweeping kick now what this does pressing my Z in an AOE radius of 3 meters with the total right build you will get yourself a full on stun for 3 seconds now this is just so good like this gives you a 1 second stun the second one gives you a 2 second stun the other one is actually for HP region and it knocks people away uh, also a very great feature against higher level bosses which uh, don't allow you to block or evade or you need an extra evade you can use the left side as well for a two second invincible frame so that is a really really great great skill now the S the double S has two features uh, I use this mainly to get through dungeons very fast because if I use double S you can see right here movement speed buff and the movement is actually really great so I like it now if you skill the other one you will be actually able to freeze your opponents now let me just find a fucker to do it with and the total utility of doing this is uh, grounding your opponents uh, rendering not like he's not able to attack me at this point for X amount of seconds now he dies to the bleeding but that's a great way to uh, freeze mobs if you need another crowd control skill but mainly just one point is more than enough 
All right, for the ah this thing, I see. So whenever you block, you could press F and you can stun a multiple amount of monsters uh, within a range. Now, scaling this to the left side allows you to uh, get the uppercut like the Shoryuken without spending any chi. So that's a pretty good feature because it normally costs like I think it's one or two. Not quite sure. Um. As well as the blazing kick into I don't know whatever, and the right side gives you HP region for all I know. Like I'm not Russian, I don't know the language, I'm not able to translate it for you, but that's what it is all about. I know it from the Chinese server. Now for the next skill, uh, this is uh, also a very great skill. This is the EQ dodge. And if you put it to the total left side, it will allow you to region HP. It will allow you to get a 1 to 2 second invincible frame. And it also allows you a 35% movement speed extra, which is very good. I, I prioritize this skill, but currently in the Russian server, it is bugged. It does not give you the 1 to 2 second iframe. So that is pretty sad. Um... And if you evade, you can get yourself an extra stun. And if you scale it like this, you can get yourself Scorching Kick into Blazing Kick. I think this one is pretty useless, but scaling it into this is always good. <laughs> Moving on to the next skill. Now, this skill has many features. and I'm not sure what they all do, but I know a few of them. <laughs> so, the total left side is for damage. And getting this skill this way, it will allow you for a two second stun within like eight meter radius. So this is like a very neat skill to do. What this does, like either one of them is a stun, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, and this allows you to do a uppercut at some point and I think the staggers too. But in all cases, I just put in one point to make the chi consumption two instead of three. That's that's probably the bigger case. If you have points left, you can just like put in as many points as you want. But right now, one point there is more than enough. Now, here is where it becomes interesting. Now, on a stun or a down knock state, you're able to press tab. Now, if you skill this accordingly. You can get yourself a knock away or a knock down. Now if you do the knock away in this case, you can scale it once again with the left side of this skill and actually jump onto people's faces and knock them up in the air. Now I'm not going to show it to you just yet, I'm just going to show you guys uh, what the utility is and what it is used for. Now mainly for PvP I pick this one, gets a knock down, don't have to skill anything else afterwards. So. That's a pretty good one. Now this is still the same scorching kick. And now this is the biggest skill. This is the AOE pull. It has a 30 meter radius. Whenever you pop this skill you will be attracting all monsters from all sides. So mobbing a big crowd not a problem. And afterward if you get hit within a... I think it's about 2-3 to three second. Then you will freeze yourself for 4 seconds and this renders you invulnerable as well. This is so great for like PvEing. I like this skill so much. Now as for the Shoryuken, um, this has multiple ways of putting them in. This is more of a PvP thing. Now if you want to do the Shoryuken, it now costs... Oh wait, it does more damage. And with the Kiten Kick, you can actually Kiten Kick once and do a Shoryuken afterward. Uh, same for uh, the projectile counter. Like whenever you projectile or like counter a projectile, this one comes up in the uh, right mouse button and you can actually do it. And I think this is about the same anyway. Now this is an AOE knockup which can be used as well. I don't use it all that often. I don't like it all that much. I don't like this tree anyway except for PvP. Now, moving on to one of my uh, most used skills is this one, is the ground stomp. Now, if you ground stomp people, within a 3 meter radius, you will AOE stun them. Now, this is very great, but you can also skill them into this one. 
and uh, we gotta wait 35 seconds but I'm going to explain it to you how it works now we have an 80 meter radius and what this actually does is um, it pulls monsters toward you now this is very great for one reason only there are always mages and archers and they just fucking annoy me to death because it's very hard to hit them but if you go around the corner or something like that you can like evade that or you can use this skill pull them all in kill them all in one go now you have the second edition which is a three meter but it does either more damage or it stuns them I'm not quite sure and the fourth one like I'm going to show this skill anyway because it looks awesome <laughs> so we have ourselves a monster let's see 12 meters 11 there we go, eight. Let's pull this fucker in. So there we go, we pull him in, then we bleep his ass. Oh, we still got that jazz. Uh uh uh. Mm -mm -mm. The 12 finger death punch, even though we got 10 fingers, nobody gives a shit. And the last one has a healing utility for an X amount of seconds. Now we gotta wait another 30 seconds, so let's move on to the next skill. I will show you later. It puts down a node that will allow you to regen HP. I don't I don't like it all that much but it works okay for our next skill this one is very useful for a few reasons like the damage itself can be very great depending on how you scale it as well as that thing is able to stun if you scale it on this way now this is a bread and butter skill for bosses so you need to get yourself up to level 40 and actually get this now if you go to the total right side it will give you a stun this is great for PvP go through the middle side and you will get yourself an iframe for an X amount of seconds and if you go to the full left side it will allow you to do a crack ton of damage and it's just fun now any of the other skills are like this skill I'm not a fan because the cancer uh, like the animation recovery frame is very great like it's very long it doesn't do all that much so this is the ground stomp, AOE heals, oh my god it looks fancy, it looks like a swamp or a healing puddle, nobody cares. So, the biggest question is, what do you prioritize into building? Now, this is where I go, I'm going to delete all my points and keep them. Now, the first three points need to go into this skill. This allows you to AOE everything down if you have decent uh, damage or utility. Now, the second skill depending on your level uh, will need to be let's see where where is it where is it where is it I don't even see it there we go is at level 20 you can get the AOE pool now these two skills are highly prioritized now if you have one extra point that would be on level 21 <laughs> or even higher you put one skill into this why simply because the consumption of your chi is ridiculous now I often like stuns more so for the next few points I will move into this skill build and after that you can basically like play around a little bit what I like for bosses is this skill as well as maxing out this and this one now if you have these skills you're already up at level 32 at some point so which skills do I get first let me just put these things off for a second like what I try to prioritize is uh, the double S make sure uh, dungeons a lot faster the E and Q for invincible frames during all uh, all sorts of jazz uh, allows you to region a lot of chi as well so that's really really good and then I would prioritize this skill now once you get up to uh, let's see what level is it 35 you will need to get this skill it's a we stun and with like level 35 you should be able to put in all these points now once you get to level 40 it is like either the stun but it is single target I like this one the most and now you have about two points left at level 40 give or take uh, what do you get afterward let's see like I 
I build everything differently depending on the day. Now these two points are very useful. I like using them a lot. It gives the ground knock like a lot of utility. As well as for the final four points will be on the uh, second block stance. Now I can put one point into this and I have one point left and I know there's one skill that I could use differently and I use that last point actually for kite and kick this way I can just like switch around and that is it for building so I hope you guys enjoy this I hope this helps you guys just a little bit on how to uh, build your Kung Fu Master on the next video I will be showing you guys uh, fancy tricks which you can use to actually uh, do everything you want with this class so this was Twebby peace